We had one kit man, he's not here anymore. He was like the assistant kit man. We turned up to Fulham and he'd just not brought any of our shin pads. <laughs> what did you do? I think he had to go out and get them. <laughs> like, he'd realised... Well, buy a when, load. Yeah, he'd realised in the morning <laughs> that he'd, obviously, when he was setting up the kit, that he'd not brought the shin pads all the way oh, to Leeds. So he had to go so buy special. them. Um, well, you mentioned it earlier about kit. I really want to mm. know about the kit man slash woman. What their? Do you know what their? I'm sort of obsessed with. I met the Gillingham one the other day. Lovely man. But he, um, I want to know what they do as a whole because I think that's a job I'd love. I think because um, I'd be right in the middle of it and valuable and but without the stress of having to sort of play. <laughs> so obviously cleaning the kit. Making sure everything's clean, which you'd think, yeah. Does your kit smell it. nice? Do they for, do once, they have once it's been washed? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but when you put it, you go, oh, that's nice. It's, it it doesn't why. like smell of anything um, specific, but it, I guess, just general like detergent. But oh, because I imagine using they'd use softener and everything. I don't know what I, I do know. One thing they use though when. Sometimes when the shorts have stains in, you'll see them like a couple of days after at the training ground using that like stain remover stuff to <laughs> scrub it out. Yeah, it's sounding less glam. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Um, so what what else does he do? Um, so they they will literally for every player, the shirts will be hung up on the on like oh, a hanger. That's nice, and, isn't it? And then every... your kit is like. They roll it or fold everything so it's all inside. So in, if I go what through you mine, mean? you'll have... Inside? So inside like, each other? Yeah, so it's all wrapped up really neatly. Oh, R- that must be lovely to turn up and you go, hmm, how lovely. Yeah, it's nice, but <laughs> sometimes it's hard to like... Because your sloggies, do you know what sloggies are? No. They're like briefs that you wear for the game. Like jo- jo- jockey shorts. Yeah, like pants. Jock straps. Yeah. Uh, is it jock straps? <laughs> it's like jo- a Y-front pant. <laughs> and you call them sloggies? Yeah, I think that's like the brand of them or something. Right, okay. Because they're pants. So, yeah, pants. so pants. pants. So you've got yeah. your pants. Yeah. And you've, got your, you've got ankle socks. Can you wear your own pants? Because I don't think I want to take my pants off in front of everyone. Can I wear the, Can I put my pants on at home? And Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can wear okay, them. You, you don't have to wear yeah. sloggies. You can wear okay. whatever. Yeah. So... You've got your soggies, ankle socks, then your match socks. Then hold on, got... hold on. Why two different socks? What do you mean? So most people's socks, the match socks, they cut the actual foot bit off. Oh, why? Because... For, for freedom of movement or something? No, so like, it's weird. So the actual match sock, the foot bit of it feels different to like a normal Adidas like white ankle sock. Or sock. Right. So, like, I will wear white Adidas socks and then cut the bottom off the sock. Do you do just... that or does the kit man? The kit man does it. For... Oh, they... don't even Cause... have to cut your own socks in half. No, because most players have it like that. So, I don't think there's anyone who doesn't have it like that in our team. Uh, and why do they sometimes, the socks have holes in them where they've sort of sliced little holes in them? What's that? Um, if, if, I think it's if the socks are really tight. But Right, okay. I don't know how. I'm, I mean, I haven't got the biggest calf, so I've not come across that problem yet. <laughs> Ditto, my friend. Ditto. Don't worry about it. Um, so, so the kit man basically goes. He likes his cut off. He doesn't. Yeah. A couple of little slits in his because they're tight. So, so he knows each individual person's requirements. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. So, what else? What else? So you then you'll have like an Under Armour, whether you wear a, a what? long. Like a, oh, a long... oh, right, yeah. Oh, do you get to choose? But like, <laughs> of course you do. But you choose a long or a short sleeve. Yeah, not shirt. The actual match shirt's always short sleeve. Oh, we got get... an undershirt. Yeah, like a tight undershirt, same colour as the match shirt that you can wear. You can either have long sleeve or short sleeve with that. You it's have like long a... reason? Do you get cold arms? I have long and I have a vest, so it depends. <laughs> Don't you get hot wearing all those layers? No, I prefer to be like, <laughs> I actually prefer the feeling of having it on. <laughs> the feeling. <laughs> because, especially because we have to wear the flipping GPS unit. Oh, like yeah. Uh, do you, so, yeah. What's that? What is that? Is it like a little 
it's like a little device, like maybe like that big, that thick, and they put it in the pouch on the back of this like like a bra basically. Oh, because um, you see it in training sometimes that people are wearing them. They're like black and like a little yeah. crop top vest thing. Yeah. Oh, you have to and wear it, those on the match day. Yeah, and it's just like it gets all the data, the running data, basically. Mm. And is that not? Uh, it, that, that, that doesn't. You don't notice it, obviously, after. No, wearing. you get used to it. To be yeah, fair. yeah. That's weird. You, I, I sort of assumed you didn't wear them on match day, and they just did it. Some, some, some don't. I mean, in the Premier League, a lot of teams use the cameras. From around the stadium. That's what I thought, yeah. But um, obviously we like to do to be different. <laughs> <laughs> Add a little annoyance to it. Yeah, um, so, so what else does a kit person do? And then, so once that's all rolled up, you've got your stuff to warm up in and stuff. Um, they will just be on hand like for anything like any player needs kit-wise. So say, for instance, someone's if someone's studs are a little bit loose, the kit man will right. sort that out sort that out or if someone loses a stud in the warm up they'll so they have ready. spares of everything basically yeah do they have yeah. two shirts for you and stuff does everyone yeah. have like yeah two shirts I'd... for a game I think I think it's for, for some reason I'm suddenly really stressed for them because it is one of those things if you cock up it's really exposing like you know for example you, you rip your shirt and you go oh, I need a new shirt and he's like oh um, well, well, we we had um, I don't know when it was. I think it was it would have been under Marcelo. We had one kit man. He's not here anymore. He was like the assistant kit man. We turned up to Fulham and he just not brought any of our shin pads. <laughs> what did you do? I think he had to go out and get them. Like he'd realised. Buy a load. Yeah, he'd realised in the morning that he'd obviously when he was setting up the kit that he'd not brought the shin pads all the way oh. to Leeds. So, so stressful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so things like that. Are, obviously, if you forget stuff when you're playing away, it can be a bit of a, an issue. <laughs>